Hello friends. In my this video, I am going to discuss another interesting problem on linked list, and that is find the sum of last n nodes of the linked list. Okay. So basically, you will be given uh, the head of a linked list and uh, the number one particular number will be given in the function as an argument it will be passed from that particular number to the end you have to calculate sum all the uh, uh, data of a particular node and uh, you have to return that as a result okay so see the problem statement given a single linked list of size m your task is to compute the function sum of last n nodes which should return the sum of last n nodes of the linked list okay so the function takes the input uh, argument it is written like this that uh, the function takes two argument as input that reference point to the head of the link list and the integer n there will be three test cases okay so that means uh, we are our function uh, need not satisfy only single test case it has to satisfy multiple test cases okay uh, t test cases and for each test case the function uh, will be called separately okay so with this we no need to worry we know we just need to think about this particular part okay so basically for each test case output the sum of the last n nodes of the linked list has to be given in the output constant it is given okay so see the input you just try to uh, input example if you are able to understand from this particular example uh, from the input what is the output then you can uh, write your own algorithm also so see try to understand first two indicates there are two test cases so first test case is input is this one and for second this is this one all right now see this six is basically length of my first linked list so see in the first linked list there are uh, six elements five nine six three four ten and we have to compute the uh, addition result for the last three for the last three if you calculate 10 plus 4 plus 3 how much 17 right the output is 17. similarly here if my uh, if you consider this as my second input uh, input length is two so see there are two nodes in, uh, in this linked list one and two and uh, we have to calculate the sum result for the last two so two plus one that is three so how we can uh, write such program which will compute this so we will be given the uh, head right so from the head first what we can do we can determine the length of my linked list okay because when head will be given we don't know this value 6 or we don't know the value 2 it may be uh, 10 20 30 whatever. okay so we don't know that so what we will do first we will calculate okay fine if we are given the starting point of the linked list we will calculate that up to what the um, that is how many number of nodes present in that linked list okay after calculating the length what we will do see here the length is 6 and my uh, last 3 has to be calculated. So last 3 means this 3, 4 and 10. So we can say na, that from the front side, if you consider from the, uh, the total length as 6 and from the last addition, last 3 node we have had, that is nothing but it indicates from the first if we say that is 6 minus 3 plus 1. From that to end, we have to calculate. Understand it again. See, my total length is 6. Last 3 nodes we have to calculate. So, 6 minus 3, how much? 3. Okay, 3 indicates this 6 data, right? But we have to add from 3, 4 and 10, like this. So, 3 is 3 at 4th index. So, plus 1 we will do. So, 6 minus 3 plus 1 is how much 4 similarly if you consider this particular case if my length is 2 so if my length is 2 in that case what will happen 2 minus 2 plus 1 so that is from the first and second that is two elements we have to add so that's what i want to say from the front side uh, you can say like this total length minus uh, that number plus 1 to end we will sum them up and we will get our results as simple as that all right so how we can write the code See here I have written the code in Java. If you want, you can implement the same algorithm, but syntax will differ in different language. You can implement in C or Python. Here maybe options are there. Here C option is there already. So see class solution. Okay. Return the sum of last k nodes. This is comment written by Geeks for Geeks itself. I have not written. Now public int sum node head int k. Okay, these two arguments we are passing. Number one is head, and number two is the integer k is last m nodes that how many nodes we have to add that 
that is passed through this uh, integer now what we are doing we have to calculate the length of the linked list so for that part i have written this see understand it very clearly nothing is there int temp equal to 1 i have defined one variable as temp and note p equal to head i have uh, taken i have made uh, one another note p and given the reference of head itself so then basically we can say from p also our link list will start so note p equal to head now link list ends where you know that always link list ends with null right so while while p not equal to null temp equal to temp plus one so by this we can simply calculate the length or how many nodes are present in that link list we can calculate this and in the next iteration what you have to do you have to shift the pointer so for that p equal to p dot next so that it will refer to the next node all right so this part after execution of this particular part in the temp variable our uh, the our total number of nodes present in the linked list okay fine now you may think why i have not written here directly while head not equal to null because if i write while head not equal to null what will happen after execution of this part head will take null value then we cannot process further so that's what i have done instead of uh, disturbing my head i have uh, taken head in another node and i have used that that is the purpose only now what i have done int k equal to temp minus k plus one as i have told you here also that uh, if we have to calculate last three elements that means from the front side if we say uh, six minus three plus one that is length of the node minus uh, that input which is integer which is passed through our function plus one like that only i have done here that is k equal to temp minus k plus one then to store the summation result or the nodes uh, last m nodes uh, data summation result in a, the g variable i have defined like this that is int g equal to 0 and then int gem equal to 1 also i have defined so that i will iterate from the beginning and see now i am using the head so if i if i use head in this part in the calculation of the length itself then i cannot use head further right so that now uh, for that purpose only i have used node p equal to head this one okay now while head not equal to null then equal to gem plus one and then i am checking if gem greater than equal to kl that is this particular variable which you have calculated and then gem less than equal to 10 that is if it is falling in the last 10 nodes then we are going to add so um, sorry so then we are going to add that is g equal to g plus head dot data okay or data so head dot data we are adding in the g variable respectively then we are shifting our counter also sorry pointer also that is head equal to head dot and at last we have to return g okay because g is storing all the addition result of the last no m nodes all right so this is the simple code the same code i am going to post in the description of my this video if you want you can check there let me submit this to show you that the code is working correctly i have already checked previously that whether the code has working code is working or not okay so see correct answer execution time 0 0.29 so if it is less than one second uh, that is uh, well and good okay so in my next video i will try to show you some more problems based on this link list. Thank you for watching.